drug research and development aims to prevent or treat disease. While the end result, a small pill or capsule, seems so simple, the process for developing a safe and effective new drug is anything but. Development can take as long as 20 years and cost more than $1 billion. Like a relay race, drug development has several stages and requires a team effort, often involving the government, universities, and pharmaceutical companies to reach the finish line. The process begins with basic research. U.S. government agencies, such as the National Institutes of Health, conduct and fund research at laboratories around the world to uncover fundamental knowledge about diseases. This research helps identify potential drug targets, usually genes or proteins whose functions are critical to the survival or spread of a disease-causing organism. Scientists then investigate how they can interfere with these targets to either control or eliminate disease. They may test tens of thousands of chemical or biological compounds to see if they either inhibit or stimulate a given target. Usually only a very small percentage of these compounds will have an effect on the target. These hits are then rescreened multiple times to confirm the results and further trim the list of potential drug candidates. Researchers look for compounds that interact only with the desired target. If a compound reacts to unrelated targets, there is a greater chance of adverse side effects. To further minimize this risk, researchers conduct experiments to optimize a compound's absorption, distribution, and metabolism inside the body. These studies help determine which compounds are safe and effective enough for further testing. With the results from these preclinical studies, drug developers seek permission from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to begin testing the compounds in people. If granted, scientists embark on a three-phase clinical testing process that will determine whether a drug will be approved for public use. Because clinical testing requires a substantial investment, it is common for pharmaceutical companies to play a larger role during this stage. Phase 1 clinical trials test an experimental drug in about 20 to 80 healthy adults to evaluate its safety, determine a safe dosage range, and identify side effects. In Phase 2, the drug is given to approximately 100 to 300 people, including those with a target disease, to get an early indication of how the drug is working and to further evaluate its safety. Phase 3 trials evaluate the drug in a group of 1,000 to 3,000 people who have the disease. These trials aim to confirm the drug's effectiveness and monitor side effects. They also may compare the drug to commonly used treatments or to no treatment at all. The larger size of Phase 3 trials allows for results that are more statistically significant or less likely to have occurred by chance. If a drug successfully completes Phase 3 testing, a company will seek permission from the FDA to market the compound. Its application contains data from all the preclinical studies and clinical trials, along with information that the FDA will need to make its decision on the drug's safety, efficacy, and quality. If approved, the drug can be manufactured and sold to prevent or treat the disease in question. But the process doesn't stop there. The FDA will continue to monitor the drug's safety and effectiveness for as long as it remains on the market.